Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or a subscriber, welcome back. So let's go ahead and hop into the messages, guys. We're going to see what comes out, what messages Spirit has for you at this time. Please remember that these will be general messages. Everything is not going to resonate for everybody. So only take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? If this is not your story, please do not try to force it or make it fit, okay? Time and energy are fluid, so I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy. If the roles are reversed for you, feel free to switch them if necessary. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your donations, your comments, your emails. Everything is greatly appreciated. The way that you guys support my channel, I really appreciate you, my loves. Okay, I do. I know I don't tell you guys all the time. But I do. I appreciate you and I love you. I just want to say thank you. I love you. And I miss you. All right, guys. So let's get into it. I'm going to um clear this deck. I feel like I just had my radio voice on right then for some reason. I don't know why. Welcome to Leave a Life Tarot. This is your girl, Kia, on the mix, in the mix, on the beats. On the cards, on the ones and twos, on the table. Wookie, wookie, let's get it. Is there a DJ in the house, in the building, watching the video right now? What's going on? <laughs> Is somebody a DJ? Is somebody uh, a radio host, works at a radio station? What's going on? Let's get into the messages, Libra. Holy Spirit, guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guide, spirit team, with the highest white light, please be with me through this reading for the Libra Collective. I pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Please protect me as I channel the messages for the Libra Collective. And please block any negative energy spell or evil eye that may be being sent this way. Ashe, amen. All right, guys. Let's get into the message. I feel like this is going to be a good one. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. All right, guys. This is... um. I don't even know what I was about to say. Oh, um, if you guys want to book, um, get your horoscope for January. All right. Today is the last day. Well, yeah, I may extend it over the weekend. I don't know. But today is the last day to sign up for January horoscopes. Okay. Um, any information that you guys need about that is in the description box below. And also, all of my readings, except for the emergency readings, are currently 20% off. Okay? The prices that are listed in the comment section. Uh, I'm sorry. In the... Um, I probably posted in the comment section. Maybe I need to start posting in the comment section. But uh, the prices that are listed in the description are the prices. Okay, guys? I'm sorry. I felt like that was a long introduction. I don't know why. But anywho, let's get into it. Shuffling for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. My Libra collective. My Libra love. Soul tribe. Soul family. Shuffling for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. It's my first time using these cards, guys. So I'm going to give them a good shuffle. for Libra spirit okay oh you got the death card on the bottom big Scorpio energy you guys could have a uh, strong Scorpio placements okay huh you can have strong Scorpio placements Libra I'm also getting an end to any type of hardships. If you've been going through some type of financial trouble, penny pension, or something like that, you're overwhelmed with bills. Um, I see that coming to an end. Somebody could be getting like a loan forgiveness or something like that. I also, somebody could be getting a haircut. Maybe you're thinking about cutting your hair. Okay, 
let's see. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Messages for Libra. Please do messages for Libra. Okay, you have the Knight of Swords. It's time to do something now, okay? Two cards flipped out in my hand, and they they flipped up in the reverse. I don't know if you guys caught that, but they two cards flipped up in the reverse. The chariot and the strength. Um, I want to get your energy. What's what's Libra's overall energy? How's Libra feeling? What energy is Libra currently in right now, Spirit? What energy is Libra in? How is Libra showing up in this read? Okay. The two of swords. Okay, indecisive. So you could be needing to make a decision about something, Libra. Some of you are writers. Some of you have double Libra placements. So you could uh, like have a Libra sun and moon or a Libra rising, Libra sun and rising or something like that. But I'm getting maybe a Libra sun and moon. You could be dealing with someone I had an earth sign that has a Libra sun, moon or rising. I mean, a Libra moon or rising. Her earth sign. So you may have you may you are ugh, you may also have earth placements um in your moon or rising. Or you're dealing with an earth sign that has Libra in their moon or rising. Okay. Some of you could work from home. Somebody's a writer. The letter F could be significant. First, last, or middle initial. Somebody's first name, something about a first name. Why am I hearing my baloney has a first name? Somebody's name is Oscar. <laughs> Or somebody's eating hot dogs, so. But yes, uh, somebody could be a writer. Um, I feel like you, you, there's a choice that you need to make. You're indecisive about something. Also, something about being distracted as well. That you could need to be focusing on your work right now, Libra. But there's something that has your attention, or something that's distracting you. I'm also seeing an incoming call. Um, that you guys may be receiving soon, or um, you you can receive this incoming call while you're working. Okay, it may be from an earth sign. I'm hearing or, or um Capricorn Leo Virgo. And I'm hearing drama. Ooh, I hope nobody's calling you with no BS. I'm hearing drama. Um yes, they're giving me a lot for this one card. I'm hearing type. I'm hearing type. So somebody could work, like I said, you uh in an office setting or on, on a key. You could be typing right now. You may be texting or writing something. There's something about writing, something about words. But there's something that you're supposed to be doing, but you're going to be distracted by a phone call. Somebody can have their phone in sleep mode or like do not disturb because this... There's a moon here. So it's giving me like sleep mode, do not disturb or something like that. But you're getting disturbed. not And not like, I don't know, not disturbed, but like interrupted or something like that. Um, somebody, somebody's writing though. You need to write something. You could be a writer. You could be doing like schoolwork or in class or something like that. Okay, but this is your energy, two of swords, Libra. I feel like you're deciding on whether or not you should answer this call or, you know, respond to this message. It looks like an incoming call. Um, tell me more. I'm going to get into this energy that came out, but I want to know about this call. Tell me why is Libra in the two of swords? What's this incoming call about, Spirit? What's this incoming call about for Libra? I'm going to say, you may just be trying to decide whether or not you, I'm hearing whether you want to go. So somebody may be calling to invite you out somewhere. So you may be trying to decide. Okay, so let me put this one back here. You may be trying to decide whether or not you want to go somewhere. Five of Cups. Somebody wants to fix something. Somebody wants to know if they can, if you guys can fix something. Five of Cups. Somebody is feeling regretful, sad. 
Somebody's trying to fix see, trying to fix these broken cups. Somebody wants to know if you can fix something. So you may be getting a call from somebody that wants to fix something with you. Yeah, three of pentacles. They want to work together. This could be, um, I saw the emperor. This could be an Aries, Virgo energy here. Aquarius. I mean, uh, Cancer. Cancer. Somebody wants to fix something. Okay, tell me more about this five of cups. And you're trying to decide whether or not you want to talk to this person, whether you even want to answer this call, whether you want to go to this meeting or this dinner or this or whatever. Okay. What is this five of cups? Give me one more. So it looks like you guys are going to be receiving a call. Somebody wants to fix something, mend something. Apologize or something. Eight of pentacles. Yeah. Can we work on it? Somebody wants to work on something. The sun could be a Leo. Could be somebody that you have a son with. All right. Somebody's name could be Leo. Queen of Swords. This is you. Queen of Swords, Libra. You're like, I'm busy. You don't want to talk to whoever this person is. I feel like you're, you're like, look, I'm busy. Look, didn't I just say somebody could be uh like a radio host or something? Where'd that card go? Well, I just put it on the page of swords. Look at them talking into the, the thing. Yeah, I'm getting like a podcast or something like that. Um, I'm I'm hearing regroup. Somebody wants to regroup, reconnect, somebody wants to work on something. This could be a job. This could be your job calling. Maybe your job wants you to come back. All right. Maybe. Um, or this could be, you know, a person that wants to work with you and straight something out and fix something. Okay. All right. But you have, um, yeah, you got the justice card behind Leo. This is you and the devil and the hermit. Damn. Three of cups. Ooh. All right. Let's see what's going on here. So there's a phone call coming in, Libra, from somebody that wants to talk. Somebody wants to fix something. Somebody wants to um, work on something. I don't know. All right. The number 25 could be significant. Somebody could be 25, 28, 58. Somebody could be born in 85 or 82. Somebody could be 52. February the 5th, May 2nd, February the 8th, um, May 8th. August 5th, August 2nd could be significant, okay? August 25th. Yeah. All right, so you have the Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Strength that came out. The Chariot and the Strength card are in the reverse. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to talk now, but you're like, wait. You, you could have somebody on hold. Or something like that. You're not going anywhere. Or somebody doesn't want you to go anywhere. There's no movement. Seven of the, the chariot in the reverse is like not moving. There's a crossroads here and it's in the reverse. Hmm, let's clarify. The strength card is in the reverse. Leo energy, cancer energy out here with the chariot. Somebody could be losing strength. Somebody's hands could not be as strong. It's giving me like an older person though. Like they're like a grandmother or a grandfather or something that whose hands are not as strong as they used to be. I don't know why that's significant. Is that there's something significant about somebody's hands? Okay. There's something significant about hands. I'm hearing hands and feet. All right. Um, somebody wants to talk now. Somebody wants to say something now. They want they want you to answer this message now. They want you to have this conversation with them now. It's like somebody's rushing you. But you're like, look, slow down with all that. Okay. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Swords. Because you're trying to decide whether you, I, I feel like somebody, I don't know. Because the way you're looking at this phone, like, ugh, I really don't have time for this. Or I don't want to deal with this right now. 
or whatever. But somebody's like, I want to talk now, Libra. And the Two of Swords is Libra energy, by the way, if I didn't say that. All right, Knight of Swords. What is this? Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. All right, Eight of Cups. Oh, he's throwing cups away. I heard, it seems like everybody's breaking up and throwing their love away. Just off 15-15 on the timer. But I know I got a good thing right here. That's why I say, hey, nobody gonna love me better. Ace of Cups, I'ma stick with you forever. This kind of, the way that they're giving this to me is that this person is taking the cups back out of the trash. Like somebody threw the cups away, but now they're taking them back out of the trash. So yeah, again, this feels like somebody that wants to fix something, okay? And I said I saw 15, 15 on the timer. 8 and 7 is 15, guys. And then 8, 5, and 2 is out here. That's 15 as well. So 1515. Yeah, somebody um wants to talk about this could be somebody that threw your love away, okay? Um, or they maybe feel like you threw their love away. I don't know, switch the roles if necessary. But somebody wants to talk about um fixing this. Seems like everybody's breaking up, throwing their love away. But I know I got a good thing right here. And that's why I say, hey. Yeah. And the chariot in reverse, this person doesn't want you to leave. Ace of Cups, they want to make this offer. There's the emperor. It's like, I know I was slow, but now I want to give you this offer. Okay, somebody, look, the emperor says, slid to the front, child. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, like this person is taking back. Like somebody threw you away or they threw this love away. You could have thrown this love away. I'm hearing I want that old thing back. Somebody doesn't want you to leave. Somebody doesn't want somebody to leave. What's the chariot in the reverse? Whoa, the will of fortune in the reverse? Oh my gosh. So, with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this person, there's blockages. I feel like the blockages are removed. The Wheel of Fortune talks about your destiny, um, where you're going and where you're headed and, and you know, what you, um, you know, you, you, you traveling or whatever. Not traveling, but, you know, destined, what's meant for you. you somebody, somebody could be traveling, okay? But in this Wheel of Fortune, this person is trying to go forward. They're trying to go to reach their destiny, but there's a whole lot of blockages here. You see the U-turn sign. I feel like there's something that somebody missed, okay? They, they're saying go back. There's something that you missed. Go back. There could be danger ahead or you're not ready for something, but this person can't get through. But the Wheel of Fortune came out in the reverse, so I feel like blockages removed. I'm also getting no turning back. Ace of Cups, there's something new. And if this is a like a past person, I'm feeling like not going back to their old ways. They're like, I'm not in that energy anymore. Somebody does not want you to go somewhere. Somebody does not want you to leave. I got to clarify this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse? Also, 888 is out here. So you guys could be seeing 888. I'm going to clarify the Knight of Swords, too, to see what this person wants to talk about. So this seems like an urgent message. Somebody wants to say something. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Why is it in the reverse? Mm -mm, Y'all know there's too many. Come on. Wheel of Fortune, please. Oh my gosh, y'all determined to give me all these cards. I'm going to take one shot out. Um, The star card and the lovers. Oh my gosh, y'all. 
Somebody want that old thing back. I'm telling you, this is a love situation. This is wish fulfillment. This is something that, this, like, wish upon a star. It's something that you've hoped for. Why? Why am I feeling like third-party energy, though? This lover's card has three different hands. Like, all three hands are different. And I feel like that could be that choice. Yeah, the lover's card does talk about a choice. So this, I don't know if this is you making this choice or somebody else making this choice. Should be doing with a Gemini or an Aquarius. The four of wands. And I'm hearing stay. I keep hearing stay. Something's temporary. Something seems long lasting, but it could, it could be just temporary. Okay. Or somebody's afraid of something is temporary. Yeah, the devil card. Mm. Because uh, could be done with the Capricorn. Something seems long lasting, but it could be temporary. It could be done with the Scorpio. Something's coming to an end here. Somebody's name could be Adam. I'm, I like to clarify the majors, y'all, and they're, the majors are clarifying the majors, and that's been happening a lot in my readings lately. Major has been clarifying major, and it's crazy, so I find myself having to do a deeper dive into this. Why is the star card here? Why is the star card here? Take these. Okay. The seven of wands. Yeah, something somebody somebody's like, no, stop, go back. Go back. Libra, you I feel like you're ready to throw something away. And I feel like the universe is telling you to go back. Or to slow or to stop. Or something. Queen of Cups. I see angel, angels. I see protection. Mm -hmm. I see protection. The Seven of Wands can talk about protecting too. There, this is you, Libra. It's like there's something that you feel like you're right there on the on the cusp of getting you're almost there you're almost in or somebody feels like they're almost in because this this seven of wands there's velvet ropes here and there's like a bouncer and it's like something that you wished for is here but you're not letting it in or and then with the lover's card here, it's the Ace of Cups again. Ace of Cups keeps showing up on the bottom of the deck. It's like the what you asked for, what you wished for, what you hope for is here, but you're not letting it in. And it's like, yes, there were blockages here, but we're removing the blockages. So you can go forward now. Go ahead, Libra. You can take the cups out of the trash. You can take, you can, you don't have to throw away love. You can fix this situation. The opportunity is coming for you to fix it. But you are like still like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, Libra. Why is the lover's car here? Why is the lover's here? Like I said, you could be the one with this decision to make. Maybe there's two people that you got to decide on. Oh my gosh, what the hell? The hang one, the hierophant, the fool, and the seven of pentacles all in the reverse. Somebody can't... Hold on, because that's too many. Uh, 
Somebody moving. Somebody may be moving in, or you guys may be moving. <laughs> Can I just get one card, please? Clarify the lovers. These cards want to talk. They grief. Clarify the lovers, please. They keep giving me all these majors. Whatever this is, is a big, a big change. Something big is happening. I just feel like. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Brand new start, new beginning. The Temperance. Could be on the Sagittarius. Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Gemini. Um, this is an offer. This is a new beginning. Somebody's offering a fresh start, a new beginning, new opportunities. Somebody wants to fix something. Somebody wants to come back home, I'm feeling like. Move back in. Or something like that. Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, we gotta clarify the strength card. Ace of Pentacles, what is this? I feel like you guys are just unsure about love at this point. I, I just feel like I don't even really feel like this is you making a decision between like two people i feel like you're just unsure about love you don't know if you want to deal with it or not even though you've been wanting it and asking for a six of pentacles yeah you're getting reciprocity you're getting help you're getting reciprocity you're giving you're getting equal give and take the six of pentacles is not a libra card it's not even an air card but there's the um the scales libra this is you some of you could have um taurus placements or you could be dealing with the taurus with Libra placements, okay? I did say Earth sign with Libra placements, okay? So, yeah. You're receiving what you need from something or someone or what you've asked the universe for, the star card universe. You're receiving what you need, but there could be a hold on something or either you're blocking this or the universe is blocking this. Which one is it? No, you have adventure awaits here. King of Pentacles. Somebody's ready to, to give you something. I was going to say something about not about the signs here. Pay attention to the signs. Somebody is not paying attention to the signs. I don't know if it's you or what. Let's talk about a strength card. Why is it in the reverse? Why is the strength card in the reverse? I'm hearing, um, there's something about your love that makes me weak and knocks me off my feet. Libra, this might not even be you. Five of Swords. Mm. King of Swords. Somebody is trying to figure something out. Somebody's trying to figure out how to how to recreate something. It's giving me bootleg. I don't know why. It's like when you when you see all the ingredients in something, you know, people list the ingredients on the back of stuff. And you try somebody trying to get all of those ingredients to recreate something. Somebody's trying to figure something out, get all the right answers. What's the five of swords? Six of wands. Hmm. Nine of cups. So that they can get what they want. So that they can have a victory. Somebody's trying to figure out. I feel like you made somebody weak, Libra, or something. I don't know. Somebody's trying to figure out how to win. How to win, how to get what they want. What is the energy of this person that's trying to get what they want? What is the energy of this person that's trying to get what they want? 
Okay, two of wands and the judgment. Mm. I'm getting judging. Somebody pointing the finger at you, Libra. Two of wands can talk about traveling. Somebody is traveling. I said that earlier, didn't I? Why is it? Okay, let me show why is it judgment here? Nine of Swords. What the hell? Somebody just feels like their their life is in shambles or something like that. Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody's writing a book. It could be you or somebody else. This is like a side note, but somebody's writing a book. See, didn't I say somebody was trying to try to figure something out, how to recreate something or copy something? And I know you guys can't see it, but right here, I wish I need to get a better camera so we could zoom in. But anyway... Right here, it says copy, paste, repeat. Something has been blocked. I feel like something's been unblocked for you, but somebody's trying to figure out how to block it again. <laughs> what the hell? So... I feel like, like, kind of like the veil has been lifted. The universe is trying to give you what you need, but there's somebody in the background that's still trying to figure out how to, um, to block something again. Or also, somebody you're winning, you're getting your manifestations. Things are coming in for you and happening for you. And there's somebody that wants to recreate. Because I'm hearing original recipe, like like I was just saying, somebody you know has the recipe and they know all the ingredients, but they still can't make it like you can, right? So somebody wants to do something, figure out your formula, how you did something, how you healed, how you manifest, how you got what you needed, how you overcame these obstacles and these blockages that they were sending to you. And they're trying to recreate your method, but they're doing it with the intent to sabotage you or something like, oh my gosh, what the hell? Somebody is not original. They don't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Copy and paste. Somebody's trying to do something like you. But whoever. And they stressed out because they can't get it right. They don't have the answers. They don't have it. They can't do it like you. I'm hearing. Hoover, nobody does it like you. Somebody's last name could be Hoover. Somebody could be from Hoover. I don't know. Hoover Dam. Child. All right, what's coming to our Libra? What's this wish fulfillment about and this opportunity? What's coming to our Libra spirit? What's coming to our Libra? Whatever it is, somebody want it, want it bad. I don't want you to have it. Okay, you got the Four of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Could be a Virgo. Could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Four of Swords is a is a healing energy. The letters P, A, or X could be significant to someone. Somebody's first, last, middle initials. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, I'm getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be an earth sign, four of swords, healing. Somebody wants to heal something. The four uh, swords is Libra energy. Feathers could be significant. You guys could be seeing feathers. There could be money coming towards you. Especially if you work from home or you own your own business or something like that. I'm getting money. Um, I'm getting you learning new things. I'm getting new. I'm getting knowledge. Okay. Um, 
I'm getting the answers are coming to you. The answers that you need, the answers that you seek, the knowledge that you need to go forward. That's what's coming to you. Okay? But somebody is trying to sabotage this. The Ten of Swords is about backstabbing, betrayal, the sun card. Yeah, somebody is trying to just block your happiness. That's just it. You, yeah, that's what's coming towards you. Betrayal. But but then you have the ten, the sun card, the ten of pentacles, the ten of cups, the ace of cups. Queen of swords is you with the king of swords. That's a pair. That's a, that's a match. And then you got the three of swords to the hang one. Somebody wants you to be stuck or trapped in some type of... I, ugh, I was just about to say three of cups. There's a person coming towards you that's trying to sabotage the hell out of you. And it feels like third party energy. What I've been picking up on lately this could even be this damn phone call that's coming in that you're trying to decide you want to um answer or not this could be a block call that's coming in and you trying to decide who the fuck is this what who i want to answer this call or not there's there's some some betrayal here tell me about this ten of swords tell me about this ten of swords ten of wands 10, 10. You could be seeing 10, 10. Three of wands. Somebody packing. And I'm feeling rushed. I'm feeling rushed. This this card is giving me rushed. I don't know. I just felt the energy of just throwing shit into a suitcase. Somebody feeling rushed and packing. Trying to get out. See? Moving. I said that. Packing the boxes. Moving. You could be moving. Seven of swords. Hmm. Oh. Somebody may be moving in with you, but why? Ten of Wands is about, you know, feeling overwhelmed, frustrated. If you guys are moving or planning to move, you could be frustrated in the move. Maybe somebody has to move out. What? What is this? What's the Ten of Swords? Okay, you have the justice. Ooh. Okay, that's that's a lot. They just flipped over. Let me take that. So you got the justice. This is you. This could be um something to do with court. All right. That came out heavy in the in the last reading that I just did. Um, four of pentacles to the page of wands. The letters E and L could be significant. Somebody's first, last, or middle initial. Something of somebody could be saving up for a move. I'm not getting this ending though. This Ten of Swords. Um, the Sun card, Leo, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ace of... I mean, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. Let me get another deck. You could be saving up for something, Libra. Could be a court situation or somebody saving up for something to do with court. Um, okay, let's see. I'm trying to see which deck I want to use. I'm sorry. Okay, Queen of Swords. There we go. We're going to use this one. You right there on the split. Six of Swords. Moving on. Moving forward. Yeah, ignoring uh, ignoring a message. I feel like you're going to ignore this message. It could be coming in from a Leo or a Scorpio. Give me more spirit. Tell me why this Ten of Swords is out here. Something 
is permanent. Okay. <laughs> so remember I was saying something was temporary earlier. Okay, because and I was saying that because of the henna tattoo. Um, yep, split it right on the four lines. I was saying that because of the henna tattoo. This could be somebody's living situation is temporary. So you could be moving. All right, or somebody's living situation is temporary or has been temporary because this ten of swords, um, this is a real tattoo. The you know, actual tattoo gun. So it's going from like the temporary tattoo to like something permanent. But moving or an ending of something. What's the Ten of Swords? Somebody may be getting out of jail. What's the Ten of Swords? And balance. Okay, communication coming in. Communication coming in. About some drama, but you unbothered by it, Libra. I don't feel like you're bothered by this. Like if I lay them out like this. No, you're looking at the drama. Moon card. There's something you don't know about this five of wands, about some type of drama that's going on. What does Libra not know? Like, you know surface things um, about something that's going on, but you don't know everything. Because with the moon card, there's something that's still hidden here. Why is the five of wands here? I may need to take this into an extended, y'all. Um, three of swords, ten of cups. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this message here, guys. I'm going to take this into an extended. If you guys want to join me for the extended reading, um, join memberships, come over to the extended reading. I'm, uh, I'm going to try to do Vimeo and things like that so that you guys can buy the readings individually. But for now, I'm going to post this on the membership side. Um, you, if, you, if you go to my page from a laptop or just go to the web, the, um, the, mo the web page, not the mobile page, all right, of YouTube, go to my page and then click join. And you guys can come over to the extended because I need to get deeper into this, all right? But this video is already too long. So I'll see y'all over there. If not, then I'll see y'all in the next reading. Okay. Bye, my loves.